fans aplenty for the Section 9 Class AA title game at Middletown High School on Saturday night. Monroe Woodbury looking to reclaim their dominance in Section 9. The Crusaders won the AA title seven years in a row, but haven't taken the crown since 2010. They face a Newburgh team looking for revenge from a regular season loss. First quarter, we saw this a lot on Friday night at Middletown in the Class A final. A quarterback touchdown run. Kevin Carr keeps it 28 yards on the option for the score. Monroe takes a 7-0 lead. NFA quick to respond. It's the Dom. Dom Fields takes it down the sideline. Last man to beat, a skip over the defender, and Fields goes 49 yards for the score and the stomp. Newberg leading 14-7 after the first quarter. Defense? We don't need no defense in this game. Carr drops back and goes long. Jesse Kaffenberger with the grab in the corner of the end zone, a 20-yard reception, game tied at 14. Plenty more from Kaffenberger later in the game. Newberg adds a score and makes a stop to make it 21-14 at the half. Then they're back on offense. Fields again with the carry and picking up major yardage, a 54-yard gain down to the 11-yard line. Fields ripped apart Monroe's defense on the ground. 160 yards on just 11 carries. That sets up a 28-yard field goal from Jose Guerra to give Newberg a 10-point lead. 24-14, 8.51 left in the third. A series of serious receptions in the second half. Carr finding a leaping Kaffenberger, tips it to himself. Whoa! 37-yard gain down to the 14-yard line. Kaffenberger three big catches for 90 yards and a score in the game. That sets up Carr on another keeper. This one seven yards out. Monroe trails 24-21 midway through the third quarter. Carr finishes with 144 rushing yards. Third and long for NFA, they haven't punted all game and they won't hear. Fields throws to Anthony Dubose. A Monroe defender tips it in the air and Dubose actually catches this pass. NFA would not punt in the entire game. They were 7 of 10 on third downs. That catch sets up Fields again, eight yards out for the score. But the point after is no good, and Newberg leads by nine, 30 to 21, into the fourth quarter, and now a third down for Monroe. Carr over the middle to Ricky Giraldo, and he has room to run, a 46-yard pickup down to the eight-yard line. Cole Jeanette takes it from there, three yards out. Jeanette, 73 yards on 14 carries and the score, 30 to 28. Newberg leads it, just 6.39 left. Newberg looking to run some clock. Instead, Aaron Forbes just runs, knocking over defenders and finding the open field. Forbes, a 67-yard run, but he's brought down by James Chambers at the 10-yard line. NFA can't get in on the next three plays, but they're going to go for it on fourth and goal from the 8-yard line. Quick slant throw from Fields, incomplete. It's the first time NFA has failed to score in a drive since fumbling on their opening drive of the game. So four minutes left and life for Monroe. Carr looking for his most dependable target. Jesse Kaffenberger on the sidelines and he stays in. Three great catches for Kaffenberger in the game. 122 left and here it is. Matt Paul missed a field goal earlier, nails this one 27 yards out. Monroe takes the 31-30 lead, their first lead since 7-0 in the first quarter. Last chance for Newberg, Fields scrambling in the backfield and throws it up. Ball intercepted by Monroe's Austin Kane. That will do it. Crusaders back on top in Section 9, Class AA. Bernie Conley earns his first title as head coach for the Crusaders. They'll travel to Deet Stadium next Saturday night at 7 o'clock to take on Section 2 winner CBA of Albany.